You certainly won't hear them defending Julian Assange of WikiLeaks. If anything, they might arguably be seen to be as part of those people who considered WikiLeaks a Russian cutout of an organization. You met Julian Assange in Belmarsh Prison, not far from this studio. Chelsea Manning, of course, refusing to testify against Julian Assange. She's in solitary in uh, the mm -hmm. United States. Tell me, first of all, about Julian's health. Can I just say very quickly first, you know, in that we've been talking about censorship by omission on a huge scale. A federal court ruled that, that uh, there was no Russian connection with Julian Assange, uh, that, that he had constitutional rights to do as he did as a journalist and as a publisher, and that has been completely ignored. Julian's own condition is, is how do I put it, it's very dangerous. When I last saw him about 10 days ago, uh, I was shocked because he'd taken, he'd lost more weight. Uh, he was isolated. They seemed to be imposing a, a, a regime that must be punitive on him of isolation. He's in the health wing, the, what they call the healthcare wing, hospital wing of Belmarsh Prison but he's in a single cell and he told me that I see people walking by and I'd like to talk to them, but I can't. Category A prisoners, murderers and others who've committed serious crimes uh, are allowed to fraternize. Julian is not allowed to fraternize. Um, he's not even allowed to telephone his American lawyers and He's facing extradition to the United States. He had to wait two and a half months to see an optician. Uh, and then when he got his glasses, one of the lenses didn't work. Uh, he's being denied the right, the right, to, to prepare his own defense. Uh, he's denied access to documents, access to the library, a laptop. His lawyer, uh, his solicitor, Gareth Pierce, wrote to the governor of Belmarsh on, on the 4th of June about, about this and received no reply. What's going on? If, uh, uh, if there is no basic just, we understand if there is no basic uh, justice in the treatment of somebody like this who is in prison because he infringed bail. That is just about the merest, it's not a crime actually, it is about the merest thing that the law can nail you for, and that is infringing your bail. He is there also, of course, because he's facing US extradition, but primarily he's there for this, this minor offense, and he's being treated in the way that political prisoners are treated all over the world. That's, that's a moniker that won't be appreciated, but it applies. Have his previous partners, the Guardian newspaper in London, the New York Times, have they helped to seal his fate? Yes, they have helped to seal his fate. Uh, mind you, they're worried. They're worried because in this federal court ruling, it was made clear by the the judge in this very considered, very considered judgment that newspapers like the New York Times, New York Times and The Guardian published the war logs uh, in 2010, the war logs from Iraq, the war logs from Afghanistan that WikiLeaks had been the conduit for, had, had passed to them, they published them first, before WikiLeaks. In law, and that's what he was saying, they are as liable, but they are also, as Julian is, and this is the point he was making, are protected by the, uh, by the US Constitution. Uh, now, <laughs> uh, 
the U.S. Constitution is being torn up by the Trump administration. That's why Julian basically is in the trouble he is. All these charges that he's meant to be facing in the United States are concocted. They're ridiculous. They don't apply. They're, 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 they're charges against a journalist and a publisher. But they would apply equally against the editor-in-chief of The Guardian, the editor of The New York Times, and the editor of El Pais, the editor of Der Spiegel, uh, the editor of the Sydney Morning Herald. They know this, and they're worried. Uh, but they come from such, uh, they're in such cahoots. They collude so deeply with the establishment of their country, and that now means the intelligence agencies. They are, they have the power now in Western societies. They collude so deeply with them that they, they dare not speak up. But they, I suggest if this whole grotesque charade against Julian Assange goes on, they should speak up pretty quickly. Jean Pilger, thank you. That's it for the show. Now for this season, we'll be back with a brand new series on Wednesday, the 11th of September. Until then, we'll be repeating some of your favorite shows from this season until September. Keep in touch by social media and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in September.